Hey, welcome to Unknown of Charlotte. Think of us as the hidden gem of car culture in North Carolina. Not so long ago, we did an incredibly fun video on a 246 Dino built by Ferrari. Well, this is the car that came after it. It's really the start of the 308 legend at Maranello. This is a 308 a GT4. It's actually a four-seater car, but it wasn't designed by Pininfarina. As I said, this is a Bertoni car. And you'll notice that unlike the 308 GTS and the GTB, this car has much more straight angular lines. But don't be fooled into thinking the aerodynamics are nowhere near as good as the Pininfarina car, merely because it looks straighter, squarer, not as sexy looking, if you like, as the Pininfarina car. The aerodynamics on this car work very, very well. One of the early failings, really, of the 308 series, the Pininfarina cars from Ferrari, was the fact that the air used to build up. When you're driving the car along the road, along the freeway, the air used to build up underneath the front of the car here. And you get some slight lifting of the front suspension because the air was struggling to find a way out from underneath the fenders. But the 308 Bertoni car that we see here never really suffered from that. Great aero and a very simple concept and very simple formula. Now that swooping aerodynamic profile and the squared off aerodynamic profile is also used in Formula One, or at least it was back in the early 2000s. You'll see some very squared off cars in Formula One and some very sweeping cars uh, that were designed by Renault, for example, when Alonso was winning world championships with Renault. But both of those aerodynamic concepts work very well in the wind tunnel. There is just one thing you have to remember. You cannot interuse those two philosophies as aero. You have to keep the car angular and square for it to work, or you need to use that very sort of Dahlia sweeping movement for it to work. But you can't intermingle, intermix those two concepts. This, the 308 GT4, is actually one of my favorite Ferraris that Maranello ever came up with. I love it. It works very well, it drives very well, it's very solid on the road and feels to an extent like you're driving a real big solid go-kart. There's great contact between the driver and the road. It's wonderful, the car works very well. This is an exquisite example, and if you want to find out more about that or the multitude of other fantastic cars we've got down here, give us a call or send us an email, unknown of Charlotte. Thank you guys for watching. Yeah, done, right, all right. We're, our contract is over. Get in the plane and take me away. Stop here from your flight.